From using Elvis Presley's name to get into the industry, to only being known as Will Smith's son, here are some celebrities who are only famous because of their parents. Starting with Kate Hudson, who doesn't know her. With her golden locks and winning smile, she's the rom-com queen we all secretly want to be. I mean, have you ever seen her in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? I swear she could make anyone fall in love with her in just 10 days. And let's not forget about her work in Bride Wars. She was a total bridezilla, but we loved her anyway. But did you know that Kate's mom Mom Goldie Hawn was the original rom-com queen? That's right, people. Goldie was doing the rom-com thing way before Kate, and she was damn good at it, too. Lady, no job will ever be done to your satisfaction. Well, that's quite enough. Now just get out. Hey, no problem. Just pay me the 600 bucks you owe me, and I'm gone. Captain Carl, start up the engine. From shampoo to overboard, Goldie had us laughing and swooning all at the same time. You think just because I'm a movie star I don't have feelings. Well, you're wrong. I do have feelings. I'm an actress. I have all of them. It's no surprise that Kate followed in her mom's footsteps. I mean, it's in her genes. And let's face it, she's got the charm and talent to pull it off. But it's also no surprise that she hasn't strayed too far from the rom-com genre. I mean, why fix something that's not broken? Another Nepo baby who's actually pretty good at what she does is Lily Rose Depp. All right, let's be real here. She wouldn't be where she is today if it weren't for her famous dad, Johnny Depp. I mean, come on. The girl's got Hollywood royalty in her blood. But that's not to say she hasn't earned her success. Lily Rose has proven that she's got talent and charisma, even if she did get a bit of a boost from her dad's connections. Her first two movies were directed by Kevin Smith, who just so happens to be the dad of her BFF, Harley Quinn Smith. Talk about nepotism at its finest. Lily Rose starred alongside Harley Quinn in Yoga Hosers and made a brief appearance in Tusk, both of which were written and directed by Smith. There's much I wonder about a great many things. Indeed, there must be for you to contemplate marriage to a woman about whom you know so little. Sure, they have glorified home movies, but they had a certain charm and humor that made them enjoyable to watch. Since then, Lily Rose has gone on to appear in more serious films like The Dancer and Planetarium, showing off her acting range and proving that she's more than just a pretty face with a famous last name. Just like Miley Cyrus. You might think that Miley Cyrus's rise to fame was all her own doing, but let me tell you, it all started with her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus. That's right, before Miley's twerking her way across stages and breaking out hit songs left and right, she was just the daughter of a country singer who gave her the platform to shine. Remember that earworm of a song, Achy Breaky Heart? Yeah, that was Billy Ray's doing. And he even had his own TV show called Doc. But it was when Miley starred as the undercover singing sensation Hannah Montana, with Billy Ray playing her dad on the show, that the world really took notice. And let's be real, we all had the best of both worlds stuck in our heads for months. Now, Miley is a superstar in her own right, with a string of hit songs and a seat on the voice coaching panel. But let's not forget that she got her to start as Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter and without him, who knows where she would be now. So let's give credit where credit is due and thank Billy Ray for giving us the gift of Miley. Travis! Travis, please! While she was pretty good at what she did, the same can't be said for all Nepo babies like Jaden Smith. Sure, he got some praise for his role on Netflix's The Get Down, but it's safe to say his acting career hasn't been a huge success. I mean, his Karate Kid remake didn't even get a sequel. That's like remaking Ghostbusters without Bill Murray. Oh wait, they did that too. But let's not forget his appearance in The Day the Earth Stood Still, which was just, eh, I'm pretty sure audiences were standing still too, just trying to figure out what was going on. But even when Jaden does does succeed, it's usually because of his famous dad, Will Smith. I mean, he appeared in The Pursuit of Happiness with his father, which earned Will an Oscar nomination. And let's not forget their collab in After Earth, which didn't do anything to help Will's career, or M. Night Shyamalan's for that matter. Let's face it, Jaden's name is basically just a remix of his dad's Will. Same goes for his sister, Willow, who's basically a gender-swapped version of their dad with a sprinkle of Jada in there. It's like they were destined to be famous because of their parents' success 
success, especially Lisa Marie Presley. She's the daughter of Elvis Presley, you know, that guy who's a legend in the music industry and who, even now, decades after his death, continues to influence countless artists? Yeah, that Elvis. Well, when he passed away, he left everything to his only child, Lisa Marie. But what she has done with it? Not a whole lot, I'm afraid. Sure, Lisa Marie has released a few albums, but let's be real, they're not exactly topping the charts. And acting? Nope, not her thing. But what she is known for are her relationships. First, she was married to Michael Jackson for a hot minute, which was about as strange as you can imagine. And then she went on and married Nicolas Cage, which lasted even less time. In fact, their divorce proceedings probably lasted longer than their marriage did. After, after I saw it. Yeah. I, I had to take like five days to process it mm -hmm. because it was so incredible and so spot on and so authentic that, yeah, I, I can't even describe w what it meant. So, let's be honest here, Lisa Marie's claim to fame is her dad, and I guess you could give her some credit for producing an actress in the form of her daughter, Riley Keough. But other than that, she's mostly just known for her famous last name and her rocky relationships. But one that had a lot to live up to was definitely Melissa Rivers. We all know Joan Rivers, right? The sassiest, sharpest-tongued comedian to ever grace the red carpet? But did you know her daughter, Melissa Rivers, is in the biz too? Well, sort of. She's been in a few movies and TV shows. But let's be real, her claim to fame is fashion police. Black. That's her, that's how she is. Blouse and she should be in a skirt. She's got nice long legs. Show her legs. Good luck. Joan Rivers wants me in a skirt, but I'm gonna do it. You know, that show where a bunch of people sit around and judge celebrities' outfits? Yeah, that one. Now, don't get me wrong, Melissa is good at what she does. She's a fashion correspondent who knows her stuff, and she hosted Fashion Police for years. But let's be honest, she wouldn't be where she is today without her mom. Joan Rivers was the queen of the red carpet and practically paved the way for Melissa's career. In fact, Melissa played a young version of her mom in a movie called Joy, and most of her other performances? They were just her playing herself. But hey, who can blame her? When your mom is Joan freaking Rivers, you might as well ride that wave as long as you can. And Melissa did just that. She appeared on countless reality shows alongside her mom, and they even starred in a TV movie together. But one that didn't really get to share the screen with their ticket in is Colin Hanks. You might recognize him from shows like Dexter, Mad Men, and Fargo, or from the sitcom Life in Pieces. I've not asked much of you during your short brief life, but today I'm begging you, please go to sleep. Oh. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay, yeah. But let's be real. The only reason anyone cares about him is because of his dad, the one and only Tom Hanks. Sure, Colin has had some success in the entertainment industry, but let's not forget that his breakout film, Orange County, was basically a second-generation family reunion. He starred alongside Skylar Fisk, the daughter of Sissy Spacek, and the film was directed by Jake Kasdan, son of director Lawrence Kasdan. Don't get me wrong, Colin has talent, but let's call a spade a spade here. Without his dad's star power, he wouldn't have had the opportunities he's had. Even when he did work with his dad on the Tom Hanks produced Band of Brothers and That Thing You Do, Colin was just a minor player in the grand scheme of things, and that's a wrap for celebrities who are only famous because of their parents.